Hi, welcome to the Ask Patrick series. In this series, I try to answer queries of students with regards to management preparation, with regards to colleges or anything that is there. If you want more information, you can subscribe to the channel. So today the question is, is 95 a good percentile in the CAD exam? Uh, very difficult to say what is good, what is not, because it depends on a lot of factors. One is, uh, if I uh, am a general engineer male, a 95 percentile will not get me a call from at least the top six ants. But uh, if I am a non-engineer, there is a chance that I, with 95 percentile, I can maybe even crack one of the top six ants. So I had a student this year who scored a 95.3 percentile, managed to convert indoor, fresher non-engineer from a commerce background. So yes, so it is definitely, and in that case, 95 becomes a good percentile to get into one of the top colleges. Right, that's one, your background. Second is how you apply. A lot of colleges do give call at a 95 percentile. You might get a call from MDI, you might get a call from new IAMs, no matter what your background is. In that case, 95 is good provided crack the interview and get a good college. If you don't not able to crack the interview, then it doesn't become a good college because you're not able to convert. I've seen a lot of students with 95 percentile being able to convert to good colleges, including the new IAMs and other called MDI, Gurugam, etc purely because they did well in the interview process. If you're able to do that, once you get a call, I'm sure you'll be able to, you know, get a good college as such. That's the second factor which is there. So you call, it also depends on how you perform. One more important factor is how you apply to colleges. A lot of people score well, but they don't know where to apply and how to apply. I mean, even 80 percentile could be a good score. I've seen people getting an 80 percentile, getting a decent college and getting a good placements, right? But a lot of students, after getting an 80 percentile, don't apply to colleges. And if they don't apply to colleges, they don't get in. I mean, I had a student with 80 percentile, get got into TAPME, got a job in Deloitte. Good. I mean, good place, good aspect about it. The fact that he applied to a college and then got a good placement makes sense. But then if you don't apply or if you don't apply to the right colleges, doesn't make sense. So percentile will basically depend upon one, your target college, second, your background, Third, how do you perform in an interview? Fourth, how do you apply to colleges? All these factors will make a number important or not. So as I said, I've seen students scoring not so good percentile, but having a great career because they were able to apply to good colleges and manage to get a good job. Right? I had a student who had some 85, 88 percentile, got into Guan Stroke Management, um, got the best job out of there. I mean. And in, in, a, in a company where even the students from top IAMs couldn't convert the PPO. She converted a PPO in even in a, so good, amazing. So which basically depends over a period of time on your potential and how you perform. Hope that helps. Thank you.